All right, so I've had a suggestion from a fellow YouTuber, um, someone watching on my channel called Otto Kramer says, why don't we blow the lighthouse up a bit different this time? Why don't we blow it up, but then try and hold it in place with the wooden planks? And the, the idea is genius. It's, it's quite simply genius. So what I'm going to try and do, I think, I haven't actually tested this yet. I thought we could test this as we go through. Um, I can kind of visualize it happening because the planks are just ridiculous. Um, I don't know how they well they compress, if I'm honest. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start high up and just see if it can take the weight from the top. Um, and then we're going to make sure that we can get that in place at the bottom. So we're going to give it at least a go up at the top um, and see how that works out for us. So in fact, I think let's save at the bottom here. So we can jump right back into it. Um, either way, it's reasonably quick, so through the door. Um, all right, this will this will do because it's kind of high up. Let's get rid of all the stuff we don't need. It's a very weakly made bed. It's, it's cheaply made rubbish. Get rid of that. Right. Um, you've got to be the shotgun. Now, if you've blown up big structures in Teardown, you know that I can go all the way round without needing to worry about the building collapsing because it will only break on the last single voxel that holds it in place. Um, that's just how the game works. It's just what it is. Whoa, couldn't it a bit fine there. All right, um, let's keep our lamp. Gently place the lamp over here somewhere. Just pop it over there for a second so we can use that later. Squeeze that just carefully over there too. Oh no, it's fallen to pieces. Never mind, never mind. Let's just store this chair safely over there. I don't want to damage that at all. Right, okay. Um, planks. So I don't know if the if it's going to take the compression. They they stretch. I've I've honestly never tried to compress them, but they don't stretch very much. So maybe it's enough space um, to test this. And to be honest, if I think when we work at the bottom, we'll make it. We'll kind of steadily make it a bigger gap and, and, and just double check that it is the, the planks that are holding it up and it's not fallen onto onto an object or a bit of rubbish that's broken off. Because um, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes with planks what you're connecting them to. But anyway, stick all these on. At least this is, should be reasonably quick. Now, that is never going to hold the building up, is it? It's already on a slope. There they are. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be enough on the inside. We'll get a feel for it though with this first one anyway. Obviously we're not going to be able to protect to stop that bit from shattering because we need to break that through. Stick a couple more on. I'm just debating if it falls it's got to fall evenly hasn't it? If, if it like smacks down it's going to have to land perfectly on these with equal which it can't do because I've blown a zigzag hole up but hmm. Um, all right, this is enough anyway. So that's going to fall. I think unless it goes perfectly down, those planks are going to wobble. So let's let's put some. That doesn't make sense. That's a stupid thought. All right, let's try and. I don't know how stupid this is actually, from an engineering point of view. Um, probably pretty dumb, but basically what I'm trying to do is to reduce it twisting as it falls because if it falls even slightly off it's going to just they're all going to fall like dominoes i could possibly have done with going outside and putting some more on the outside but that's going to be a real headache this high up so i'd rather just do that from the bottom um again i don't know how stupid this is but we're going to connect planks to planks why not um might as well make oh yeah fall through the floor i might as well make a bizarre twisty structure in here and I'm just trying to I can hear the creak now just trying to get this stuck as closely as possible all right let's do this in the bottom should be able to hit that with a pistol arrow shot all right where is it all right okay so take one let's have a look at this what no way. No way. 
That is an un structurally unsound structure for sure. Right, come out of the way, chair. What the hell? How is that? So it's not sat down on it. That's just literally held it. No biggie. <laughs> Look at this guy. That's like... <laughs> That's the that's the one guy's like vein just bursting out on his forehead, like trying not to have an embolism right now. Right, okay, so we know that this is gonna stay up. Um cool. Will the whole structure stay up? Let's get some fire up in here. Be interested to see as it burns through which when it starts to go. I'm pretty sure it's just because I've stopped it from swaying. Whoa! That is exactly what I didn't want it to do when I was, you know, not trying to wreck it. So those internal ones must be essential then, otherwise it will just like flop off to the side. Okay, um, quick few moments of destruction here, just for science, so we can see how the uh, building looks inside. Because I've not been inside there yet. Oh, gave me motion sickness then, I'd never get that in games. Alright then, so we have got... Oh, you don't want to be part of it now, do you? And I think every time this must be destroyed. Really? What's that thing plugged into? How has a light physically survived that? You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Alright, so this is the world's toughest lighthouse. Confirmed. Uh, Alright then, let's try and get this set up at the bottom. Okay, so just a quickly reverted to the old save on that. Now we're at the bottom. What I'm going to do is, should we take the door off? I'm going to take the door off. Am I? What? Never. No way. Right. I'll take the door off in a more aggressive manner than I originally intended. Just the reason for that is it gives me a bit of a basis to get started, I think. And all right, we've got loads of stuff in here. Let's clear this out. And I think because the first one was such a, like, and I'm genuinely surprised that that was just store our furniture. Oh, it's flat pack. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's flat pack. Um, I'm genuinely surprised that it, it survived as well as it did. Like, they just didn't even budge, didn't even flinch. I thought it was just going to crumble into nothingness and then uh, that would be the end of that and I'd be giving up. All right. Okay. But a whip out the old shotgun arena. I do want to try and... Mm, I can't keep the stairs, can I? Right, we'll worry about that once we've got the building in place. So, we'll start off with a single a single ring. And I'm going to go straight for, like, double the height of this one. So double the height of the gap is what I'm talking about here. Just because I think... Um, I think this is going to hold... I base that on very little, very, very small amount of uh, testing. Okay, so what's going to be easier for me? Take out the bottom. I'll maybe take out a little bit more of the top and a little bit more of the bottom. I think once the gap's large enough to prove a point, it is what it is, isn't it, really? Um, we could always increase the gap. I have no issues doing that. Alright, so that is huge. I was going to say that if this works, then it proves that it works at any height, but that doesn't make sense because we could take this to its natural extreme, couldn't we? Which possibly will do. Um, we'll see how long the video goes. It could be a part two. -er. Oh there, kitchen sink, you live there now. Goodbye. Right then, do we burn off some of this? Now we'll smash it up. I'm just thinking about getting a nice base for the for the planks. I'll skip some of this out, I think. You don't need to see this. Right, I do love the absolute stupidity that I've just happily worked away inside this building that is held up by these 50 voxels. Anyway, let's start planking it up. I have quick saved it here um, just in case things go uh, 
slightly wrong, which as we all know they can do when you're trying to support the entire weight of a lighthouse using only wooden planks. Um, as we've all done, I mean, we've all been there, we've all tried it. I think with this as well, just because of the sheer mass of the building that's above, uh, I'm going to go with my anti-twist, patented anti-twist support structure inside there. And I think I'm going to use some additional supports on the exterior of the structure. If it works, I can save it and slowly take them away and we can like figure out what it is that was actually holding the building together. Because we know for sure it's not these planks on the side. Well, we don't know for sure if it's these planks on the side. It might have worked in the first one, actually. I'm not willing to go back up and test it, though, because I'm pretty sure it will result in failure based on the fact that the middle plank's burning out last time. It just kind of spun and then dropped on its ass. Right, let's get these in. That's the old doorway. All right, last couple of planks. Missed it one more, I reckon. Right, um, that looks atrocious, essentially atrocious. I am really tempted now, actually. I know it's been a bit of work setting it up, but I'm tempted to just drop this quick save here and then see what would happen if we just tested this, because this looks stupid to me. No way. <laughs> you could hear the strain. It nearly, nearly held it. Like, it kind of... I can hear them having a disaster. I know I turned the volume down a little bit for you guys, but like I can hear that having a nightmare. It has actually held it in place here. Um, let's... I probably need this, actually. Let's get rid of this and see what that looks like. What? What's holding it up? These are still holding it. Has it like switched its physics up? I cannot believe how tough planks are in this game. I honestly can't. We've actually made um, a very effective... I mean, you could use this in one of the... Uh, one of the I've never been up this when it's on a diagonal like this, but when I mean, you could legitimately use this in the in the um, assortment of dishes. Let's see if we can get in here before I reload the save. Amazing! That is absolutely amazing. Well, there we go. Uh, not only have we tested that theory, and uh, we've also made a nice little route into that building. Okay, let's drop back to the quick save. Okay, so we tested the feasibility of this. It's looking really good, actually. Um, let's start by applying the patented no twist technique. Um, we'll see if we can do this without the support of any other buildings nearby. I'm worried that isn't stuck in the floor, though, actually. If we can we can oh no 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 stupid boy if we can we can if we can't we'll glue this to some buildings nearby which I'm sure they won't mind I mean it's the landmark landmark feature isn't it the lighthouse it's the one we want so I'm sure all the other buildings will be happy to jump on board with the preserve our lighthouse foundation and that's all I'm trying to do is just make sure this lighthouse can last because you never know if somebody's going to damage it at the bottom would you be happy to live in this? I would. I'd live on that top floor. There's no evidence that this would collapse. I'm pretty sure we could leave this for days. Days, weeks, months and years. Right, so here's the patented uh, no twisty system. I did this last time as well. I actually don't know if that helps. I can't see it helping. I'm going to do it though. Ooh. Someone's getting happy with their clicks. Right. 
And I, f I didn't even bother sealing up this doorway, which is amazing. So we could always just pop a pop a cheeky plank on there. Right, we'll drop a quick save on, and we'll see if we can drop the building. If the building stays up, yay for us. If not, we can go nuclear on it. Oh, that is it. No! Whoa. Not quite there, is it? I mean, I, regardless of where we end up with this, I think we can almost take that as a win. I mean, that guy's not going anywhere, is it? Like, I could live in that. Let's go and let's go and live in it for a moment. That is, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's a bit on a slant. It doesn't really matter though. Look, the the tables stayed upright. The TV's still on the on the table. We could get into bed. We'd have a little sleep. Absolutely no problems whatsoever with this. Um, let's have a look at. <laughs> It's kind of a bit upsetting to look at, actually. It, it's a bit of a weird one. Anyway, there we go. So there's that attempt. Let's drop back on a save again. And I think we're going to need to use outside support. So let's test this idea. So we're going to just use outside support to the ground. Um, and try and not use any additional structures. See, See where that gets me. I'm not sure what difference it makes going for the other structures, but I'd like to know that we've got the lighthouse held up just by planks on its on its own. I can't. I'm sure this must must be enough because just just those inside is all almost there. I wonder if anyone else has tried this. I'm sure somebody would have done. I don't know whether it's publicly been done. Anyone's weird enough to have had a go at this. To be honest, like I, I would have never thought about it had I not been given the suggestion. And that's that's what community is all about, folks. It's just about sharing ways of not letting lighthouses collapse. I don't know how far to take this. I'm going to put a couple more on this side. This side looks the weakest link to me. Um, like we could literally build the whole building with more planks but i don't want to jump straight to that uh is it just me or does that look like it's on a wobble already like that don't look right to me is this oh, come on it shouldn't be on a wobble it shouldn't be on a wobble all right we'll drop a quick save Ew, should we yeah we'll drop one in we're only going to add to it aren't we um okay let's get rid of this Ah oh, no, it's twisted again. Oh, we are going to need outside support, aren't we? 